Morning guys, welcome to E-Money and the Boys. I'm your host E-Money, doing a quick little intro. We are, uh, actually not we, I am on my way to uh, this month's Albany uh, card show. Hope you enjoyed my finger there. Uh, really gotta get Max back. He's a way better cameraman than I am. But uh, just letting you know, not really looking for anything too special. We're gonna do some uh, value box digging and uh, see what they got just to get out on a Sunday morning before uh, the Dolphins game goes on. But we'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, guys, here we are. We made it to the Polish Club. Um, film away from that dude. Uh, we'll be going inside in a minute. Doesn't look like it's very busy. Parking lot is not busy at all. But hopefully uh, that means there'll be some good deals. All right, see you in a bit. Hey guys, back from the show. Um, as you can see, this is uh, this is the pickups from the show. Uh, only did value box buying. It wasn't uh, wasn't as good as it normally was. Uh, some empty tables. I don't know if you can see that from the footage that I had taken. If it was too quick and whatnot, but again, kind of uh, kind of hard to video and look. And I got to get my cameraman back. But uh, anyway, guys, so this is all value box stuff, uh, dollar, $2, uh, some of it as low as 10 cents, some th these uh, were out of a 20 cent, 20 cent, or five for a dollar, so yeah, 20 cents, uh, you know, Green Julio Jones, uh, Matt Stafford, uh, card for Max. Uh, Jordan Noir, rookie. The Honey Badger. Another Stafford Prism. Uh, Green Wave, Phillip Rivers. Cole Komet, rookie. Uh, yeah, these were 20 cents, too. Because I got the Jerry Judy, the purple variation. Uh, Cody Bellinger, purple. That's not numbered. Uh, the Jacob deGrom, 1986. Uh, Luke Voigt. I actually had to just grab a couple. I'd gone through all the football and basketball, and I kind of ran out of things. So uh, since Sammy's a uh, Yankee fan, he'll get a Luke Voigt. He'll be happy. Now, these were a dollar. Uh, CJ Spiller on the Bills there. He had a ton. So I just I grabbed a couple. It's 155 out of 299 uh, The Star Rookies. CJ Spiller. So, I mean, for a buck, you know, Kareem Hunt for a dollar. I'll take a shot on some of this stuff. Oh. Now, these with the white tags. This was the first table I hit. And these were three. If you've watched any of the previous videos, Dr. J is uh, one of Maxwell's favorites. I couldn't pass up on that. Uh, this was a dollar. I didn't pay $3 for this. Uh, Sammy and I are Dolphins fans. So there's another one somewhere. There's another Daniel Thomas autograph. Back to the dollar stuff. Uh, Sammy Sosa, piece of bat. Uh, Maglio Ordonez. These were cool. Actually, I see the other ones, so I'll grab those. Get that stack of cards off of my arm. So this is, uh, I don't know how far and wide true values go. But these were in a 15 cent thing. So true value collector series. And they're pretty thick and they got the back. And I didn't know anything about them. But, you know, actually I got them at 10 cents. I got two Pete Roses, a Jim, two Jim Rices, a Dale Murphy, 
a Lou Whitaker, and then a second Dale Murphy. I had to grab cards to make a dollar. But if you open it, you actually get two other cards. So I ended up with a Tom Seaver and a Robin Young. So I thought that was pretty cool. I probably won't pop open all the others. Leave them uh, mint the way they are. All right, so this was uh, this is a PC pickup. I'm a big Teddy Ginn Jr. fan, and a friend of mine. For a guy that he doesn't know, he hates this guy way too much. So I always buy Teddy Ginn cards and then send them pictures because it's funny to me. So this is the green. I don't even know refractor. It's numbered to. Uh, something number to 199 i don't know for a dollar i'll throw a dollar at it i love ted again and again a dollar uh game jersey so now i'm just missing the autograph hopefully i'll find that for a dollar at some point uh, another dollar card a rod and jeter kings in new york i grabbed now these were a buck a piece the lowest lanes it was on a sticker kick you'll see in a minute um but I picked up the two lowest lanes. This was a dollar. Kenny Stills rookie uh, patch. Dollar Araldis Chapman tops chrome. And again, I, I you know live in New York, so what the heck? Uh, I know this isn't anything, but it's the Rocket. And I remember when he was a huge deal. Uh, Darius Hayward Bay rookie. That was that was in the twenty cent thing uh, or ten cent thing along with the rocket. So for a dime a piece, what the heck? These were a buck. Uh, Elite series rookies: Chase Young, Justin Jefferson, and Jalen Hurts. I think I paid a dollar for that, but I might not have. That might have been in the twenty cent. Yeah, these were in the twenty cent thing because as much as I like Chase Claypool, I have a ton of them. And I probably wouldn't pay a dollar for these. But uh, another Chase Young rookie. Yeah, these were 20 cents. James Robinson, Cole Komet. Uh, what was that? One of the wave cards, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, uh, Russell Wilson, green parallel. You know, again, I'm just getting back into this, so I don't know all of my uh, parallels and whatnot. So forgive me for that but uh starlin castro tops chrome rookie for a dollar there's the other daniel uh thomas i just got to figure out which one i want and which one sammy wants this was a dollar john morant uh brandon Ayuk, uh purple i think that's i don't know purple pink i don't know i gotta look it up these were three bucks uh james wiseman i think there's a high upside on him uh, Ken Shamrock, I have no idea what this card is, to be honest with you. Uh, and it, it's some kind of, oh, it might be a UFC thing. or uh, It's a lot of UFC information. I'll have to uh, check that out, but I don't know. There's a lot of UFC information on the back of it. So, uh, Conseco rookie for a dollar. Um, I had... There'll be another video on Wednesday. Uh, I hit a uh, local flea market, which was god-awful. But a dude had a big box, and they were all in plastic. They were all a buck a piece. And uh, I think I pulled about 70 cards out of there. Some nice older stuff, some 1960 Fleer cards and whatnot. I mean, condition, you know, 1960, but uh, for a buck a piece. Uh, come back Wednesday and see, but... Spoiler alert, one of the other ones was I got the Fleer Conseco. Uh, this was another dollar pickup, Frank Robinson bat. Um, you know, Hall of Famer. Uh, again, Yankee fan, so picked up uh, myself a Bernie Williams jersey. Now these, I didn't pay, these were $2 a piece. These are the vintage original um tops i want to say yep 85 and then the guy cut me a deal i had like 50 dollars worth of stuff and he just went down to 35 so i don't even know how many cards so probably closer to a dollar a piece and again i'll show you why i'm on the sticker kick 
uh, Iron Sheik, Captain Lou, Snooka, yep, Captain Lou, uh, Junkyard Dog, that's my brother's favorite wrestler, or was one of them when we were kids, so that'll go to him. I have no idea who that is. I think it's Hogan, but I'm not positive. Your guess is, is if you know, leave a comment, let me know. Iron Sheik again. These were in the dollar bin, so I grabbed some Kobe's. Uh, after seeing his performance in the Olympics, there were two dollar Ricky Rubios. So I snagged those, a couple of more Kobe's. And another Kobe, sorry. All right, last pile. There might be, there's some more stickers. And I always grab these for a dollar, and I have no idea why. But I remember these as a kid. And some of them I know I didn't have. But Mike Schmidt, Mike Schmidt, Ricky Henderson, that's a PC for me. Another PC, uh, Ron Guidry rookie for a dollar. Now these are rare. Uh, this was a trivia game of some sort, and it had the cards in it. And uh, I know I picked up a bunch. I don't think they were a dollar. I think they were less than a dollar. But there were some that I didn't have. You have to check one of the other uh, Albany uh, videos. But this was in his $2 thing, Mankind. Uh, two Jordans. Oh, that was from the $3 guy. Uh James insert. I just thought that was awesome. Another dollar Kobe. All right, back to the two dollar stuff. Uh, Gold Dust, JBL, dollar seventy two Frank Robinson, uh, dollar Barry Sanders insert. I was watching uh, comic or not comic sports card investor, and they opened up a box of these, and they all got extremely happy when they got the z force so i saw a z, z force and it's a player that i like so i don't think that there's any huge dollar amount attached to this especially since it was in a dollar bin but i saw it and i grabbed it um donnie nelson when he was a player thought those were cool these were all a buck uh another i'm a huge barry sanders guy even though i'm a dolphins fan Back to the two dollars. You can't pass on an Andre the Giant for two bucks. Wendy Richter, more Captain Lou. Now these were two for five, but these are the rare tops cards. And I didn't even look at the year. He only he I think he had two other ones, but the condition was awful on him. But these are uh, the stage insert. The condition's not that great on this either, but it's still Charmander or Charmeleon. Another foil Charmeleon. This was in the... Oh, nope. I'm sorry. And that was in the uh, two for five. I won't pass on Venusaur. That, I haven't looked it up. I think it's Vivid Voltage. Or no, not Vivid Voltage. I don't... I, I know I have more of these, but I don't remember what that symbol is for. But a reverse Venusaur... And again, probably paid a dollar for it. So, I'm in. And another dude where I got the CJ Spiller stuff. I don't know. He had that for five. I just thought it was cool. I'm actually Max is a fan of Voltorb. So, I don't know. Hang him back here. I don't, I don't do graded stuff. It's only graded a five, but it's a Team Rocket. And honestly, I was out. When Team Rocket came out. So uh, originally. So I didn't get a lot of that stuff. But for you know five bucks. I think I spent ten bucks with them on the spillers. And uh, yep there's a couple more coming up in here that you'll see. But uh, I don't know. I thought it was a deal. But I also got an e-card of Tiger Woods. I don't know. It was a dime. So I figured I'd pick that up. Uh, this next one, I only grabbed, it was a dollar, and I only grabbed it because I found the first one I'd ever seen um, the day before at the flea market, uh, 1976 mini album. Apparently they had mini stamps that went in here or something, 
But uh, Len Dawson's in here, so I thought that was cool. Uh, picked up some Gronks, which apparently was good because apparently he had a day today. I'm filming this on Sunday. Another clear Gronk. Thought those were cool. I, you know, I don't see Gronkowski cards that much. And I picked up a Red Wave Matthew Stafford because, speaking of guys who've had a day, I thought that was nice. So I grabbed those. And last but not least, why I got on the sticker kick. So you'll notice from, if you've watched any of the other Albany Show videos, you'll notice uh, I buy from this guy all the time. This was the only thing I got from him today. His, uh, his stock must be depleting. But for 25 bucks, I didn't even give a count. There's 31 Empire Strikes Back stickers. I guess it said it was uh, missing two for the set. But 25 bucks, Boba Fett, Chewbacca. Princess Leia, Probot, Vader. Now these are all, I don't know why. I never really looked. I should have. I never really did. I got to use a couple of these to uh, finish out my set. Um, years ago, I went to a show in Carlisle. It's a car show. Car, not card. And a buddy of mine's a big car guy. So he said, hey, I'll drive. You want to go? I just want somebody to hang with for the day. Because I know you're not in the cars. I said, yeah, sure, I'll go. So it turned out to be not only cars. There was a random dude there. Now, this was many, many years ago. Maybe 15 plus years ago. I got an 800 count box. And half of it was vintage the original Star Wars stickers, the 77s. So this year being this year with the collectible market going crazy, as I dug stuff out, I used, I want, I bought it back then because it was only a couple of dollars. I used it to uh, complete my set because it also had some other regular cards from the sets in there and whatnot. Um... Yeah, these are, the extras of these will be going on eBay, I won't lie to you, because these have been selling pretty well, so I should easily get my $25, two Boba Fetts, and I know I have both Boba Fetts, actually I have multiples of them, and uh, I know, with, I'm pretty sure the boys each have one also, because... Uh, after seeing The Mandalorian, not listening to me for years about how much I love Boba Fett, uh, after they saw The Mandalorian, now they want Boba Fett. So, well, that's it, guys. That is uh, everything that I picked up. Um, it was nice, nice morning. Uh, nice, uh, you know, it was nice that it wasn't too busy, but I wish that there were some more dealers. Uh you know, I would have loved to have looked through more value boxes, but hey, I'll take what I can get, you know, plus I got out, I wasn't sitting around the house, so that's always nice. But anyway, I hope you guys uh, liked everything that you've seen. Um, if you did, you know, leave us a like or a subscribe. You can always uh, leave us a comment down below um, on what you think, what you think of the pickups. But anyway, guys. As always, I'd like to thank you for uh, spending some time listening to me rant, and another as always, have a great day.